Let me tell you why you should be spending more time writing English than writing code and how it helped me get on with projects I've been stuck on for weeks without motivation. It's really easy to feel lazy or unmotivated on a project that you're once really excited about. In reality, this is often actually just disguising the fact that your project has really loose requirements and you don't actually know what you're supposed to be working on. Today, I'm gonna to be helping you break through this problem and all you need is the ability to write or draw. Firstly, think of a dream you've had that made so much sense in your mind and was so vivid. Yet, have you tried explaining that to someone and noticed that there's so many details that don't really make sense and the dream doesn't really flow that well? This is kind of strange. At some point, every feature in your game or project started as an idea and these ideas are more like dreams than you're aware of. It's really key to revisit that idea again now as often we jump from idea to creation before actually defining the idea clearly. Leaving all those little details that are actually missing and don't make any sense as little landmines that we run into only once we are deep into writing the code. This is what makes us feel burnt out and frustrated and ultimately ends up with us abandoning our project. So let's start on breaking down this dream idea you had and making some enhancements to it. Let's say, for example, that your idea was to have a shopkeeper in your game. I'll start off with saying what my assumptions would be if I were to make this. For starters, if I was using a shopkeeper, I'd probably start making a shopping system since it kind of just makes sense to have a shopping system, right? You're wrong. One of the easiest parts of the whole shopping system is the actual buy-sell part. What you need to be thinking of is the bigger picture. Where is the shop? Do you go into it or is it just a menu? If you do go into it, what happens to the rest of the world while you're there? Do the NPCs just freeze and then unpause when you leave again? In addition to this, you probably have to make a whole lot of artwork to represent the inside of the shop. You need to come back to the idea, is this effort actually worth it for what the core of my game is about? And if it's not, then unfortunately often you'll have to make some cuts. For me, this means sadly having a simple shop menu instead of a fancy store location. Finally, repeat. This is the last step. Be mindful of the new features you feel like adding and make it a habit to sanity check yourself as you go. Remember, even if it feels like a solid idea, if you can't explain it in detail, you're probably going to struggle or even give up on making it, and that's just no good. I really hope this technique gives you as much as it has given me. Remember, often less is more, especially when it comes to programs. Good luck, and see you in the next one.